are close to uh, Dedham, which is on the Essex Suffolk border. And I'm about to transport you into a very famous painting. Come around and have a look at it. So if you don't recognise it, just imagine this little dog in the foreground and there's a hay wain with a couple of bucolic types uh, on the hay wain. Yes, I'm talking about the hay wain painted by John Constable in 1821, a quintessential image of the English countryside. To the right we see the farmed landscape of Suffolk and on the left hand side a simple humble dwelling, smoke pouring out of the chimney. One of the reasons it's such a sort of revolutionary painting is when you think about this subject matter. On the left hand side we've got Willie Lott's house as it was known in those days. Willie Lott, just a, a local. There's no reference to classicism, mythology or anything like that. Secondly, of course, it's the way that Constable produces that painting. He would have come out here, he would have done sketches on plein air, sketches from nature. So he would have brought his oil paints in pig's bladders out uh, to create lots of little sketches. And then after all those sketches were completed, he would be working on a full-size sketch which still has a great amount of freshness. In fact here is that full-size sketch which is now in the possession of the Victoria and Albert Museum in London. But just look at the freshness and spontaneity of the handling. And then when he completed that sketch then he'd tackle the finished piece which certainly it does have a lot more finish but it's got that freshness and spontaneity which we've never seen in painting before. Remember that even his contemporary Turner at this time would be producing classical mythological scenes, harking back to Claude Lorraine and the classical landscape. Here, Constable is observing specific effects, very particular meteorological and atmospheric effects on the specific day that he actually made the sketch for the work. And in that painting you see the sky and the clouds, there's clouds scudding across, you see parts of the landscape illuminated, the fields shining out. The painting had a great impact in 1824 when it went to Paris. It was shown at the Paris Salon of 1824. And then it was seen by none other than Eugène Delacroix, who was to become the great romantic French painter. He was working on a painting called Massacre at Chios at that time, a painting representing the massacre of the Greek population of the island of Chios by the Ottoman Turks. As soon as he saw the hay wain, he hastened back to his studio to rework the landscape background of Massacre at Chios in what he called the English Manor. He wanted to add the same directness and freshness he had seen in the hayway. Of course one of the things that Constable would have been concerned about would be the advent of the Industrial Revolution. I think the countryside was seen by people as something that might disappear as a result of industrialization. Well here we are in 2018, almost 200 years after Constable produced the hayway. It doesn't seem to have changed very much except somebody has built a rather sort of inconvenient wall in the foreground. Somebody's left a child's bucket. But fundamentally the scene hasn't changed. Rural Suffolk is still rural Suffolk. So really the hay wain, which I remember seeing in reproduction in several houses I used to go in the 1970s as a child, it seemed to have become this sort of icon of the English countryside, Englishness. 
um, that painting was revolutionary in two ways. First of all, subject matter, nothing classical, nothing mythological. And secondly, in its handling, in its freshness and its spontaneity. So just have a look at the original site of the Hayway.